Hi, this is an update on the Pretty Excellent set. I'll cover the results of my one year light fast test and go over the pros and cons of these watercolors. Before I get too far into the details, I'll first say that this set is still one of the very best bargains on the market for beginners. While painting with them, it's easy to be amazed that these paints perform like professional quality paints at a fraction of the price. Their high pigment load, intensity, and performance in wet washes is perfect for learning watercolor painting. It's nice not to be hindered by the typical chalky or odd textured student grade paints with binder fillers that are so common in this price range. However, there are some downsides to this set if you start getting serious about your art. First, the back of the box is printed with an incorrect color chart. Two colors, Prussian blue and permanent green light, are not actually included. Instead, they have two blues that they named in their online color chart as turkey blue and Payne's gray. The yellow green is also one space over to the right, so be aware of this because it can cause frustration when you go to swatch out your own custom color chart. A couple colors seemed redundant, with a few very close matches in the browns. In addition to these issues, it turns out that four of the colors that they labeled as absolutely permanent were absolutely not. Of the 36 colors in this set, 17 colors faded. 12 of those ended up being totally fugitive, and the other five were marginally light fast with only minor fading. I allow all of my tests to go on for one full year in a window with indirect daylight exposure. Typically within three months, the most fugitive colors become apparent. Between six and 12 months, all of the colors that will fade over time usually have done so. In my testing of other brands, totally light fast colors are stable for several years or more. This is good to know not just for those who sell their art, but for anyone who is serious about painting who may decide to hang art on the wall or give gifts to loved ones. After all, it's quite sad when a year later the painting you put so much work into fades due to the light of a nearby window. I have gotten a lot of comments asking about how these compare to Paul Rubens and if they are the same paints. Pretty Excellent are from the same manufacturer in China, made in a similar way with high pigment load and quality gum arabic binder, but they are overall not the same as Paul Rubens. The color selection is different for more than a few colors. I would call these student grade for a few reasons. These use cheaper pigments to keep the set cost low, with a focus on bright and non-toxic hues. No pigment ingredients are disclosed for this set, and the light fast ratings are inaccurate. Pretty Excellent offers several colors that you cannot find in Paul Rubin's professional line, possibly with the addition of optical brighteners or dyes, which is particularly noticeable in the mauve color. Paul Rubens focuses on light fast and higher cost pigment ingredients, including genuine cobalt and cadmium. These toxic pigments in Paul Rubens paints provide subtle differences in mixing and textures that professional artists may appreciate, but make them less suitable for kids. I have read some reviews complaining about the highly staining and too vibrant nature of this pretty excellent set. It should be noted that a large portion of this set is similar to the variety found in most sets on the market, including certain pigments like Quinn Magenta and Thalo Blues, which are highly staining in any brand. Typically, intense, vibrant colors are a good thing as a starting point, since you can just dilute or create mixes to help you neutralize the artificially bright, marker-like appearance of some of these colors. If you're trying to learn special lifting techniques, such as in botanical painting where you want to erase colors with a damp brush, you may want to consider spending some time researching recommendations on specific pigments for buying individual tubes or pans. Thicker particle granulating colors lift easier than the finely ground colors that are often found in pan set assortments. It's also important to know that paper makes a huge difference in how easy colors are to lift. Wood pulp paper and some cheaper cotton papers without much sizing or gelatin coating stain much easier than brands with a more durable surface sizing. 
the texture of the paint in the pans implies the gum arabic binder might be a different amount in addition to being poured differently and possibly heat dried as these paints re-wet slower and are harder less creamy in consistency as the paul rubens as far as packaging pretty excellent did cut some corners and is poured into a flexible ice cube style tray it does not allow for easy replacement or swapping out of colors like the individually wrapped paul rubens pants there is a small portion of the color selection that seems to be nearly identical to paul rubens likely using the same pigment ingredient though overall the selection is filled with slightly more vibrant and cheaper versions of colors, sometimes labeled as hue, to signal that they do not contain the same pigment as the color name suggests. For example, cadmium orange hue is a non-toxic look-alike replacement for regular cadmium orange. Several of the colors that seem like matches in the set to Paul Rubin's colors are just similar colors that actually end up being fugitive. When comparing these sets, it's easy to think that two very close colors are the same pigment, when in actuality, Paul Rubin's uses the superior light fast pigments. If you have other questions about these paints, feel free to ask me in the comments. I will put a link to these sets along with my review article with the Lightfast test images in the description section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these, and as always, I appreciate your feedback. If you'd like to see more, you can find all of my detailed swatch card images, results from my independent light fast testing, and other art supply reviews on my website. I'm currently building a huge pigment database where thousands of colors can be compared side by side with paint from other brands. Updates about this project, along with line art drawings and high res color scans, are also available on Patreon. Thanks for watching.